Cooking a whole fish has to be one of my favorite things, from experiencing the sights and sounds of the market to seeing the day's catch on your plate. It's like nothing else. The best part is, it's simple. Tonight I'm cooking up a whole sea bream with fried zucchini and seasoned green beans. For this dish, you'll need a whole sea bream. Make sure to get it gutted and scaled at the market. You don't want to do that. A lemon, garlic, green beans, zucchini, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Start by preheating the oven to 425 and prepping the sea bream. Take a sharp knife and make 3 to 4 cuts on the fish, going about as deep as the bones, about a centimeter deep. Then cut a few lemon slices and stuff the sea bream with them. Place it on a pan and drizzle with olive oil, making sure you get it in the slits. Season with some fresh ground pepper and coarse salt. And slide it in the oven for 20 minutes. While that's cooking, grab your zucchini and slice it lengthwise into thin pieces. Next, grab your green beans and cut the ends off. Like most things, zucchini tastes great with a little garlic. So break off a clove, peel the skin off, and mince it finely. Now it's time to cook everything. Put a skillet on medium-high heat, then in a pot, add about an inch of water and bring it to a boil. Pour a little olive oil in your skillet and toss in the garlic. Fry for about a minute until it starts to brown. The sea bream has about 10 minutes left, so Help yourself to a quick snack. Lay the zucchini slices down in the skillet and cook them for about 5 minutes a side. The beans take a little less time, about 5 minutes total. So throw them in right before you flip the zucchini. Season the zucchini with salt and pepper, then grab a fork and give them a flip. Everything's just about done, so it's a good time to grab a plate. Lift your zucchini out of the skillet and stack it to one side. Then grab the green beans and set them on top. Last but certainly not least, the sea bream. Take it out of the oven and carefully lift it off the sheet with a spatula. Lay it down next to the greens and take in the beauty. Grab a knife and fork, your drink of choice, and you're all set. Trust me, it tastes as good as it looks.